Yo, so what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So on this video, you already read the title. Basically, we're gonna go over some of the steps and just the process, because I documented the process of what it took to send in my first pellets to Amazon FBA. So right now, at the time of this video, I am waiting for them to pick it up today. Hopefully they come, it's already been two days that it's been delayed. So they should be coming in. Hopefully get some clips of them taking off with it and stuff at the end of the video. So we'll have that at the end. And yeah, aside from that, I'm mean, just going to go over how we you know what it took. So basically, you know, if you've done Amazon FBA, you know how the process goes to send in just parcel boxes, right? You basically go on Inventory Lab or if you're using Seller Central, you go in there, add the products, print labels, your F and SKU labels. And then you just, you know, package it up, prep it. Then at the end, you start putting them in the boxes that you want them in, right? So me, I use 2D Workflow. So I'm going to make a separate video going over 2D Workflow separately so I can explain further and better with you guys. But with 2D Workflow, we're able to prep and box at the same time. So literally, if we have a table full of products, once I close the shipment on Inventory Lab, because that's where I put it in first to track all my cost of goods and whatnot and all that stuff. And then we can start prepping and actually start boxing it away once I get on 2D workflow. And it'll have the box label for me, slap that on there, and then literally take it to the pallet in the garage and just start, you know, palletizing it box by box. And so like that, we're able to clear up space, make, you know, just more, more room in general. And it just keeps the workflow going just nice and smoothly, you know, just getting rid of product at the door. And at the end, obviously, we weigh the whole pallet and then we get out our actual shipping labels plus the pallet labels. So with the pallets, you need to have the shipping labels, uh, well, the box labels, sorry. Instead of on top like you normally would, you would actually put them on the side of the box. That way the workers can, I guess, scan it better so it shows what's what. And then you shrink wrap that and then you basically put the uh, pallet labels one each on each side so that they can you know scan it and whatnot but you'll see all that you know during the clips and whatnot so i'm just explaining some of the process here on the first clip and whatnot and so yeah like other than that you just shrink wrap the whole thing put the labels on and you just wait for the carrier to come and so far what i've learned with this is that from what i've you know various sellers have messaged me throughout these days and they told me you know hey amazon carriers they suck ass man they either won't come with a lift gate, which you need to request a lift gate on the morning that they're coming to pick it up. Please remember that part, guys, is that you need to call the carrier and request a lift gate. Otherwise, they're going to send a trailer, which they did the first time, with no lift gate, and therefore they can't take it. So, I mean, yeah. But, so, from here forward, I'll probably still use it just for the next two shipments or anything. And then from there, I'll probably look for some third-party uh you know different carriers and because i hear they're, they're more reliable they're more on time with these things and i believe that you know smaller companies they're more reliable with these type of things but yeah so that being said aside from that just let's just also go over the big mistake that i made while creating these shipments so you know we were basically done by sunday Mon monday i think to be exact like we were literally done we finished packing up the last product in the boxes finally got it palletized and then, well, something that I have, still haven't done was changing my address, which I keep saying I am. And so why that sucked was because it had the pickup address at my old address. And so I don't know if I could have called to change it or if I could change it through Seller Central. I tried doing that. Yeah, I couldn't find a way for that. So I figured, screw that. Well, I'm not going to waste time. So I took a picture of every single individual item that I had in each box content on 2D Workflow. And literally saved it on my phone deleted the whole shipment and had to recreate everything through inventory lab and to the workflow with the correct pickup address which was my which is my current one so oh no that wasted another day basically because now i had to go and manually put everything back in there and yeah so you know just going through my phone scrolling through i had to make sure i put each quantity each day just everything and everything's already boxed up so ain't no way i was going to open up everything just to like you know, see what was and what. Nah, man, that's that's a lot of wasted tape right there and stuff. But so yeah, we wasted a whole day basically doing that, and it slowed us down on that part. But regardless, we got it done. I mean, maybe there was a different way to go. I I, I messaged to like two different guys, but either way, I was like, screw it. Let me just see how it goes. And 
yeah, so doing that, that killed time, but we finally finished it. We got it right. We got the whole pickup address right. And so we're finally able to get those out the door, hopefully by today. And yeah, guys, but that was the big mistake that I made when I did this whole shipment. And I made it because, you know, with the smaller boxes, doing it through UPS, when you schedule your pickup, you can choose where the address is coming from. So when I get on my account, I'm able to pick this address automatically. And it'll take it regardless of what address is on there. With the pallet, you got to be more specific because, you know, a freight carrier is going to go there and you can't change it from there because you're buying the shipping through Amazon. So, yeah, and then you're doing the pickup from Amazon. So that's what makes it more specific. So that's why, you know, I'm not used to that. So I still have to work on getting my address changed and whatnot. But so, yeah, that was the big mistake we made, guys. I mean, like I said, there was probably a different way. Maybe something you can comment down below what I could have done instead. But I just deleted it, created the whole shipment again. And yeah, so hopefully we'll get that out the door today. Like I say, from here on out, it's just going to be clips of the process. I tried my best to record most of it and stuff. And I mean, hopefully you guys enjoy it. But other than that, guys, man, just drop a comment down below. Smash that like button and just enjoy the rest of the video, man. Like I said, at the end, hopefully we'll get some clips of the truck here leaving, which is today at the time of the video. So other than that, guys, yeah, just enjoy the process. And I mean... On to the next video, man. On to the next ship, man. So, let's go. All right, guys. So, I'm about to stack these two pallets. Originally, it was just going to be the one that I have right here. And one big stack. But it might be too high for Amazon standards. And I don't want to risk them dinging me for that type of stuff, right? So, I figured it's better to go the safer route and go with two separate pallets. I'm going to down stack this one. And just basically put them half and half. So, basically, we'll have two pallets in total. So, yeah. Got the shrink wrap ready, and yeah, let's just get to it, man. All right, so I just finished putting the right ship in the box labels that I needed. I had the wrong ones earlier, which I'll explain. I already did it before this video, or I'll do it after this clip, but yeah, so I put the correct ones, get all labeled, go from the right address, and yeah. So let's just get the shrink wrap, and at this point, all right, so we got one pallet out the way. Nicely shrink wrap. Got one more to go. I have a problem with the pallet check, though. It doesn't want to come out for some reason. So I'm going to be struggling with that for a little bit. But once I get it out and working, we'll finish this one. And yeah, we'll be done for today. And finally have these pallets shipped out, man. It was a process, but yeah, let's get to it. All right, guys. So a few minutes later, and I had to redo this whole breakdown because apparently for some reason this pallet right here is too low for my pallet jet so it was making it impossible to go down i mean to come out because the weight on these boxes are heavier i guess thus pushing the pallet further down and it wouldn't let this give any space whatsoever to come out so i lowered some boxes stacked them on top of this one because this pallet's actually better I tried it multiple times and this pallet's better than the other one. So this one can support the weight and everything that comes with it. And so this one's just gonna be a smaller one. And yeah, so I just gotta stack these boxes, put this on top, shrink wrap it, and we're good to go, guys. So all in all, it was a learn huge learning process. So I got these stupid pallets right here. But all in all, <coughs> we're making those mistakes head on first and yeah, making the business go. So yeah. Anyway, so now to wrap it up, I just gotta put these pallet labels on the outside of the pallets. So they, they gave me eight labels since I have two pallets, so one for each side will go on the pallet right here. And basically after that guys, we're completely done with the shipment. We're done with the whole process. It was definitely some work, like a pretty big learning curve for me at least. But all in all, yeah, basically done. Just gonna put these labels in. Yeah, call it a day. We better take off. She's backing up. <laughs> all right, guys, and just like that, it's a wrap. They finally took all the pallets. Finally, the shipment is out. We can start making this money, letting it all sell out. And yeah, man, let's get to it. I mean, you saw all the clips, 
hopefully you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you enjoyed the process i mean man it was a it was a you know it was a learning curve but regardless it was pretty it went smoothly i mean here or not that's the first of many let's see if we can get more out out of the way from here moving forward and yeah man just follow the journey guys we're just documenting as much as we can with this business now especially since we're full time but yeah guys so if you if you enjoyed this content guys be sure to drop a comment down below let me know what you guys think smash that like button it's sunny it's windy shipment is out Ooh, let's get this money guys finally man it's, it's crazy they popped out of nowhere i was not prepared for them to pick up these fellas yet but yeah i mean they've been solid picking up these fellas but regardless guys we're finally done and we're done with this video so with that said guys peace and i'll see you on the next one